Hey, what's up? This is Master Barber Al, creator of BarbershopCashflow.com. While I was inside of one of the groups on Facebook, someone posed a question to ask how could they generate more traffic, particularly with direct marketing. So what I told them was Facebook is all you need to generate hundreds of new customers to your shop every month. So if you just watch this video, you're going to see exactly how you can do the same thing if you are struggling to get customers to your shop on a monthly basis. Watch. All right, so the other day, a notification pops up about someone posting content in a group that I am a, a member of on Facebook. All right, so I'm going to protect the user's name, but I just want to share with you what they wrote, okay? Need some insight looking into direct mailing to boost up and build my shop. Would love some ideas, thoughts, pros, cons, experiences any of uh, any of you have had. So basically, that's what he posted. And then someone says, try Google Business and Yelp. Upload as many pictures as you can with descriptions, which is a good idea because I get a lot of uh, uh, feedback and traffic from Google as well, which I'll have a video in my member area for that. But then my response was, save your money. Facebook is all you need. I get hundreds of new customers to the shop uh, from Facebook, way cheaper. And then he puts LMK, which is let me know how. Okay, so... This video is basically in response to this guy because I went and followed his profile and I was able to locate his barbershop fan page. So that I won't expose, but I won't expose him personally because this is like a member area and you know, this is just privacy issues with that. But the fan page is something that we attract publicly and I will talk about his barbershop in compared to my barbershop fan page and just show you the difference in views and what's happening to get weekly customers that I'm basically talking about that you can get. All right. All right, so um, now I'm on the individual's barbershop page on Facebook, and I'm just going to point out some of the things in comparison to what I'm actually doing to generate um, a lot of leads, get a lot of customers uh, to my barbershop, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this individual's uh, videos on their page on Facebook, all right? So the logo is great. You know, it basically says what the place is in the logo and it has the name. As far as the cover page, I think I, what I would do personally is um, it's a lot of small pictures there. I would probably pick anywhere from four to five so that you can actually see the work from an actual uh, barbershop. It actually looks like, um, to me in my professional opinion, like shots that are from a poster, all right, instead of uh, the actual barbershop, all right? So what you can do to bring some personality to your page is use personality from your particular shop which would include some a little bit of the background and some of the color schemes, uh, possibly a barber in the shop actual cutting the hair should actually be what your cover page should be about, okay? Um, it's particularly when we're talking about the barber shop, all right? So now when I go to the videos, um, it's almost obvious. I see just about, let's see, we got four, well, I see 12 videos. Uh, let me see, it shows me more. All right, there's actually 15 videos on his page and let me just look at the views really quick. I see 93 views here, and this is talking about homecoming. Um, homecoming has nothing to do with the barber business. I'm sure it's a local event, all right, but it has 93 views, okay? Um, you have another one, uh, Fun with Bees Watch. Fun fun with the Bees Watch till the end. It's probably something that happens at the barber shop, but it has 506, 526 views. Um, it doesn't show me, like, as far as the haircut work, all right? You have uh, something with 38 views here. You have something with, uh, I think maybe the owners, like a funny video. I didn't watch on it, but I see the person in the video with the name. And uh, again, I don't see any haircutting videos, but this one that says Barber in Training, which probably could get a lot of views because it looks like a little kid who's cutting hair. Now, to me, the issue here is basically on this particular uh, page as far as videos are concerned, which are very important on social media. It doesn't display... Um, what's going on in the shop as far as haircuts are concerned, all right? Um, and as far as the view counts, it looks like it's very low, which also means probably that there's, you know, very little engagement. What I mean by engagement is that there's probably not that many comments and likes going on with this uh, small amount of views, all right? So now let me just go over to where my fan page is for my barbershop, all right? Um, which they did have a lot of reviews on that page, but I'm going to go to the video section on my fan page, Okay. And uh, for one, my cover page actually has a picture of me cutting someone's hair, okay, in the actual shop. Um, it lets you know in my header 
where the shop is, barbershop in the Poconos, okay? So when people see this and they recognize that, hey, I'm in the Poconos, then basically they can, they can, it can you know, draw interest to more looking into it because if it's just haircuts just scrolling down somebody's news feed, they might say, oh, okay, you know, nice haircut. But if you see things that identify that it's near the person, okay, whether it be the name of your shop or if it says, let's say, for example, you're in uh, Rockaway, uh, New York, and it says, you know, barbershop located in Rockaway, New York, that means when you start to target those people, they know that it's a shop near them, okay? And then as far as my logo and the profile, it's just brand identity and whatnot. So everything that I have is a red, white, and black theme. So you'll see that inside my shop, you'll see it in all my marketing material, you'll see that constant theme of the uh, white, red, and black, all right? Now on my video page, there's a featured video, which is something that I do. I show a, uh, I have a simple camera, which I have a, uh, full hour of talking about you know getting videos done like this actually I have a 20 minute one as a bonus but I have an hour of talking about what to do on Facebook here's a featured video that I just put up which is about three or four minutes long and then it shows the end of the haircut then it shows the process I actually show you how to do these videos they are very inexpensive to do and I also give you the software that you can use that's look a lot better than a lot of the apps that are being used right now that don't have all of the features you need to do a nice HD video with uh, you know all of the bells and whistles okay now when you scroll down that video is my featured video okay let me just block this out but anyway you have now on my page you know some of the videos that I that I constantly do immediately looking at the videos on my page you see that they are all about haircuts okay you see us standing in the barbershop right here you see a haircut here you see all you see is haircuts okay and within the titles, you'll see different things as far as what the haircuts are, who they're by, or whatever the case is. Like, haircut by Domingo, stop in today, no appointment needed. Um, how to cut a pompadour skin fade, Master Barber Al, that's me. Um, stop by to get a cut, Master Barber Al. Taper fade, you know, it basically tells what the haircuts are, and I try to capture things that will make people click on your thumbnail, all right? So these are important things that I'm going to teach you inside of my member area. Now look at the view counts you'll see on this video you see 3,200 views on this one you see a thousand uh, 100 views on this one you see 1800 on this one you see 2900 views look at this one 7,000 views on this one right here 7,000 views and all of those views are specifically targeted to people within the area that are located in my barbershop which I'm going to show you exactly how to do that once you sign up for the um, the course that I provide all of that information so you can actually start getting and start driving a lot more traffic to your barbershop. So now when I just click on a video, let me just show you how user engagement is on the videos, okay? So I'll press play just to go to that particular video. All right, and what you have here, I'm just gonna hey, pause this. Going? I'm gonna pause this, okay? This was a video that I did where I gave out 10 free haircuts for Christmas. Now another thing that you're gonna learn inside of my course is to to, to, de to develop content that will be shareable so people in your area will start sharing your content. So what we did as a barbershop is we gave 10 free haircuts away from Chris for Christmas. We did a nice video and this was the result video where we pulled the 10 haircuts out of the bag um, in this particular video to announce the winners. Now as a result, this uh, this has 30 shares and uh, view it has uh, 29 comments and basically people just congratulating the winners. Uh, talking about how much they love coming to the shop and a bunch of different things. All right um, Now here are some comments from some users like this person Dwayne Martin says much respect for uh, for you all Y'all are y'all are the only barbershop. I know in the area Killing it on social media. Okay, so that's comments and uh, we get a lot of comments from uh, previous customers new customers find us because people in our area are sharing uh, our content all right so that's just an example and this video right here has 7500 views okay so that was before Christmas I'm no longer promoting it but it drove so much traffic to the extent that people were just walking past saying we saw the video and they liked it and people that weren't even, even the customers were coming in and saying, hey I saw you guys video online I don't get haircuts but I like what you're doing okay so let me just close out of that video all right here's a video that I just recently put up on March 13th that has 3200 uh, views let me see all right so you kind of get the idea like here's another video from a person in my shop named Domingo um, this one has two shares also has comments people saying that it's fire 
and currently has 2,900 views. And he got a lot of appointments from doing that design, okay? Now, I don't want to make this video too lengthy, but inside the barbershop cash flow course is where you're going to get hours of training to learn how to do exactly what I'm doing here on this page to drive hundreds of people to your barbershop. Now, if I could just go back to over here and click on the photos just to get a quick observation of what uh, this barbershop photos are. So let me find what I would think to be a pretty good haircut just to see the performance of the... Um, of the comments and the engagement from users all right so I'll just click on let's just click on this photo all right now this is a photo that was posted and it has no user engagement there's absolutely no comments or no likes on this photo all right so that's an issue which I basically sh show people how to get some engagement and get that going and that looks like maybe an early photo so let's go later on inside of here and see if we can get okay this is a mobile upload okay this is February 17th which is about a month ago and this has no user engagement and no comments okay um, now let me go to my page and just show you the user engagement we go over here and let's click on photos alright so let's just load scroll down the page here and uh, we'll click on a few just to see what the user engagement is. All right, so right here we have four shares, but if you notice, we have it says 77 others like this. So there's one, two, three, and then 77 others, which I, I believe is 80. All right, and then you also have some comments here, and I'll just read one. I'm going there. I uh, had hell finding a barber up this freaking mountain because I'm in the Pocono Mountains who knows how to cut a woman's hair. One barber said, I usually don't cut females here after I said for 20, after I sat for 20 minutes. Uh, once I want, went to another barber within close proximity, walked out there looking like my freaking hair was cut by Stevie Wonder. I was furious. I never meet, met this lady. She hasn't uh, presented herself in my shop yet. But again, this is a stranger who has never come to my shop, but she's also seeing the work of the, uh, the pictures from my barber shop. Okay, let's go to another picture. All right, let's go to this one. This one has 17 shares. This is also a cut by me. And if you look, you see that it says it has 142 likes. All right, it has actually more if you count these other two people right here. And uh, the person's mother commented and there's three comments, but the shares are important because that's what gets around. All right, so I also talk about how to set up these haircuts and what's important to put in the pictures, all right? In my pictures, you see when I'm when I'm clicking on it, it's getting cut out the screen, but I put Master Barber Al. All right, here's another picture from my shop, which I did. You see this one has seven shares and 155 others like it. So you got one, two, three, four, and 155 others, which makes 159 like this particular, um, this photo, okay? And this is something that I did for, I believe it was Veterans Day, where he asked, he wanted a, like a flag. I couldn't do all 50 stars so i said hey how about if i put a star and a flag around it he agreed and then that's what we went with all right so what i do in my course and uh, you'll see how excuse me this thing popped up you'll see exactly how the strategy how i post the strategy how i reach people in my area and how i get people to comment and engage with the actual photos and this is what generates so much traffic to my shop by using facebook alone to ask to answer the question okay so he said let me know and this is me actually showing it now this is something that we announced and I'm going to I'm going to show you different things I have a lot of things planned for 2018 that it's going to have people just sharing like like crazy but here's one thing that I, I that I posted which was the 10 free haircut announcement where I gave out the 10 free haircuts um, and, you know what I did I believe in the last week of November this is posted on November 16th and I put a description here of what people should do like and share so we got 119 shares all right 34 comments of people just talking about how they love the shop and you can actually go to my page and read these for yourself and people talking about how they love the shop love being here and they shared it and so many people discovered the shop and all I did was I used um, a simple software which I talk about all of the softwares and everything you can use to create uh, stuff just like this now is it possible for you to generate um, hundreds of people a week yes it is depending on how much you want to put your energy 
into doing the right thing. And that's what the barbershop cash flow course is all about. It's about showing you how to market. You know, it's easy to open up a barbershop, but then could you flood the barbershop with customers? Could you get your work out there so people could see your work and say, I got to get to that place. And that's exactly what I'm doing in my area. Now, let me share this. In your area, if there's no one doing this, the first person who does this is going to benefit greatly because that's the one that's going to be branded and drive all of that traffic. Your only job after that is to represent on the haircuts that you give. Make sure you're giving quality cuts. My thing to you with my course is to help you get the traffic there so that days like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, when a lot of guys are either playing video games or they're sitting in the shop playing chess, no more of that. You have, listen, those days, Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, you're making 300, 400, and sometimes even $500 on those days from the traffic that you can drive to your shop or your personal barber business. All right. So again, this is Alan Brown, Master Barber Al, got years experience in the barber game, got years experience in the marketing game. And I put all of that year's experience and a few hours of time in a course that you can go ahead and view and get all of those secrets right now. So if you're not already, at barbershopcashflow.com. Go ahead over there and I'll see you in the members area. Peace.